if you're good at shit, people like you. I don't know, it's like always been like that. And Josh was dope, you know? He had like dope style. He was fucking beyond good. Look at the camera. Whoa! He'd be the first one to be like, oh, let's, let's, let's film right now. Like, I know what I want to do. I'd be like, let's do it, you know? I've been photographing Josh Galis for the last 31 years, which makes me sound fucking old. <laughs> the first time I met Josh was in Grand Rapids, probably 91 or 92. We knew of one another through the skate scene in Michigan. I would just drive down from Lansing and we would just shoot stuff. And that nose one on the target curbs was, yeah, one of the, one of the photos from that time. All that, just for that. <laughs> I mean, he always had the same style. It's crazy, even when you look at like H Street footage of him, he still had like, you know, the arms and like, you know, just looked dope in photos and footage. What's up, fool? Hey, what's up, fool? <laughs> he is the quintessential 90s street skater. I think I remember I, f I first saw his tray flip in the, uh, the toy machine video, he tray flips over the can, and I was like, whoa, this guy's got one of the best tray flips I've ever seen. We just clicked, and we started filming a bunch of stuff. When he moved to New York, it gave me the opportunity to spend a lot of time there. Josh Kalis, take one. <laughs> There were definitely a lot of guys in New York City that were hating on me filming with Josh because he wasn't from the city. And then he'd come to the city to film with me and just destroy every spot. His skating did the talking and everybody shut up after that. They're like, okay, yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy's legit. You know, him moving to Philadelphia, and just skating love every day, like definitely helped his skating progress a lot. He would learn a trick at love and then come to New York City that weekend to film with me and just like do it on every ledge. I would just flee Philly on the weekends and, and go there and RB always had an open door for me and would take me to the spots and introduce me to people. The first time I seen him was with RB in New York. Yeah, I mean, Josh's technical skating, I mean, it's just like tech and power. It was like, it just looked good in New York. His progression was like, it was mind blowing at the time. I was really honored to be there and to witness that shit go down. I think, you know, I would go somewhere and eventually get treated like a local because I just would respect those people's spots and their space and their city and then knowing that I'm from Michigan. I'm not from Chicago or San Francisco or even Philly, you know? Like, I would just have to make sure I come in and, and respect, you know what I mean? Until eventually you're there long enough and, and then it's your turn. Philly, for some reason, just had such a good scene because we had something like Love Park. Whenever you have a period in time where it's like heavily photographed and filmed and like put out there like that, it, it always will make its mark. I could definitely feel the shift and I was aware that something was happening. 